Hello and welcome everyone to my YouTube channel. Today we are creating exciting app with multi language support in both light and dark modes. To save time, I have already created static UI, so no need to start from scratch. Instead, we will jump straight into the fun part into initialization. I'll lightly set up our environment by installing the GitX package. Just copy this command and paste it into your terminal to install GitX. Alright, you can see that uh, the git package is successfully installed. Uh, so here, uh, this code sets up uh, our Flutter app with the internationalization and theming support. We have initialized it using gitx git uh, material app uh, widget uh, local local. Here we are setting the default local for our app to English United States and uh, configured light and dark themes we will okay used uh, guns keyword to remove the warning so translation this is where we will provide translation for different languages in our app currently it's left empty but we will populate it later with translation for various languages so here i created switch button so when the user toggles the switch button it triggers the this unchained callback which in turn change the theme mode of our app accordingly get that change theme modes inside the unchained callback we are using a text get dot theme function to dynamically change the theme mode of our app get dot is dark mode uh, this turn the operator check if the current theme mode uh, is dark if it is then it switch the theme mode to light otherwise it switch to dark mode so here I use a ternary operator to check it if it is dark or light so you can see it is working fine so here I am calling a function which I uh, to display a uh, dialog so here I am creating a function this code snips snip to uh, define the function show language dialog we display a dialog for the user to select their preferred language it's a simple ui element without any complexity making it easy to for user so just follow me it's just a simple uh, dialog for user to select their language Okay, now we are creating a new method this function creates uh, a widget for displaying a language item in the language selection dialog it takes four parameter first one is a uh, build context the second and the third fourth these are uh, upstream type of flag name and code these parameters are used to display the flag, emoji, language name, and language code. Okay, this is just for creating the UI. And this function we will call inside our show dialog. 
Okay, now we are carrying here. Uh, I have the code, so I will just copy and paste it here. So, certainly, this part of the code is simply calling the build language item function with, diff with different parameters to create language selection item properties. Inside the gist detector on tape callback, when the user tapes, on the language item it update the language variable to reflect the selection language switch the apps locale to the corresponding language code using the git dot update local git dot update local and then closes the dialog okay it will update our Sorry, it will switch the app language and it will take the code. Okay, now we are creating the languages for using it. Okay, this class language is extend uh, translations which is provided by the Gatex package for managing translation in Flutter apps. So use the same library. Just look at this uh, and uh, use it. Uh, the same. The keys property is overridden to provide translation for different languages. It returns a map where the keys are languages code, like uh, en for English, which is United States language, etc. And the values are maps containing key, value, key key value pairs of translation keys and their corresponding translation string for each language. By using this structure you can easily add translation for new languages and update this string. Additionally, it simplifies the process for developers and translators since they are only they only need to use the same translation keys for every language while well, the actual translation string can be managed directly so matlab jahan pe jo keys hum provide kar rahe hai setting uh, updates or change, pass change passwords so yahan pe main simply isko translate kar deta hu but make sure the keys remain same for every language like uh, setting update uh, other etc this will remain same for every language just you should need to translate it for the desired language and use it, it here as you can see I am translating it uh, for French now and I translated for the Urdu language recently, previously I mean. So I just speed up the video. I don't want to waste the time. Add just uh, a simple review you can use. So now you can, okay. You just need to use the desired uh, language code. For, for example, DE. For German language, and you can use more language if you want, like uh, this. 
but make sure the key remains the same for every language. Highlight in the translation property of get material a assign and instance of our languages class. This allow getx to use translation defined the language class throughout our app. So now, okay, we just need to use the key across different languages like uh, account over here. The .tr extension is provided by getx to access translation defined in your translation object, in this case languages, which we assign to the translation in the getx property when you write update dot uh, like uh, here I use uh, change password dot tr getx looks for uh, looks up your translation for key update change password uh, and the current selected language and return the corresponding translated uh, string so Simply, we have used the key used in 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 the उस की को यूज कर देना है तो सिंपली गेटेक्स उसको खुद हैंडल करता है और ट्रांसलेशन बेस पे जो सिलेक्टेड लैंग्वेज है उसको यूज कर देता है ट्रांसलेशन मतलब यहां पे हमने रीजन डॉट टीआर यूज कर दिया तो जो सिलेक्टेड लैंग्वेज है उसकी ट्रांसलेशन वो यहां पे यूज कर, करेगा हमारे यूआई पे हमारे ऐप में सॉरी so just use the getx uh, library so you can see that we use the same key everywhere in every language so make sure to use the same key everywhere so you just need to restart your app and it works it will works so you can see that uh, as I select the Urdu at uh, the, the, the app language change to Urdu and, and there you have it folks. We have covered a lot in this tutorial. If you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to give a, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more exciting Flutter contents. And as always feel free to leave a question or suggestion in the comment below. Thank you so much.